All right, guys, we got a little bit of breaking news. I mean, not really, but it's news. It's significant. It matters. We finally got some details on the Jaron Reed contract, and I've been waiting for this for a while because to me this was uh, very going to be very telling on how I ended up feeling about the contract. So just a little bit ago, OverTheCap.com updated. Spotrack still doesn't have it, but OverTheCap now does. Basically, it is a two-year, $9 million deal. So there are some incentives here. Apparently, there's like $1.8 million in incentives, uh, somewhere between one and a half to $2 million in incentives, basically. And this is okay, I think. Uh, if you take a look at it, 2023... We have a cap hit of just over $3 million. I was expecting something basically in that range. And then in 2024, the cap hit balloons up to nearly double, $6 million. However, there is only a $1.5 million dead cap hit for releasing him. So looking at this contract, the way it breaks out, I think the way to look at it is this. This is basically a one-year, $4.5 million deal that splits the four and a half million across two years with three million in the first year and then one and a half million in the next year. So it's almost like you could think about it like a void year, I think, because the odds of Reed being on this team on a six million dollar cap hit in 2024 to me are low. For him to do that, he'd probably have to meet his incentives. He'd probably have to meet the 1.5 million in incentives and at that point he'd be playing really well. And at that point, you'd probably be like, oh, well, okay, I guess he can stick around. He's worth the $6 million. But in all likelihood, I think what's going to happen is we are going to give him that $3 million cap hit for 2023. He's going to play out the year. He's going to be okay. He's going to be, you know, decent. And then in 2024, kind of like we did with Quentin Jefferson, we look at it and we go, okay, we can save $4.5 in 2024 if we release him, and we're probably going to do that. So one way to look at it, and this is the way I choose to look at it, is... It's one year, four and a half million with a $1.5 million void year hit. This is kind of our way of doing a void year hit without completely marrying ourselves to it. We give ourselves some flexibility to just keep the player if he shows out. If he if he plays really well in 2023, he can earn the right to stay on the uh, team at a much higher cap hit because remember, the incentives are going to add... According to uh, Over the Cap, $1.5 It could be even be a little bit more, I would say. But um, yeah, we now have the contract details. First year, cap hit just over $3 million. Second year, cap hit just about double. But an easy and painless out after that first year, just like Quentin Jefferson, basically. However, the $3.03 million is still a little bit more than I had in the chart that I posted this morning. So if you update this you can see that things get a little bit more, things are a little bit tougher now. And at this point, normally you would say that $250,000 doesn't, or $280,000 does not mean that much, but it kind of does. Because now our cap hits, our, our cap space after these four hits becomes just $3 million, and then the cuts get it to uh, less than 64 then the rookie pool gets us to over ten million over over ten and a half million over, and then you know it it just every little bit adds up. The work you're gonna have to do to get under the cap just went up by a little bit here, and hopefully we can make up the difference in like the Devin Bush cap hit. Maybe the Devin Bush cap hit is only three instead of four. That would help a lot. But uh, yeah, things just got a little bit tighter than I expected, but it's basically within the realm of what I expected. Uh, when it comes to Jaron Reed, uh, I think the main focus is figuring out how to make him a more effective player than he's been the last couple years. Because the last couple years, he's been very, very jaggy. Maybe slightly better than Jag, but not by much. And I, I, I'm going to probably talk more about this in the future, but to me, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the last two seasons he's played for Kansas City and Green Bay. He's averaged about 42 snaps a game. He's played in every game over the last two years. He's averaged 42 snaps. Now, he averaged way more than that his last year in Seattle in 2020, of course. And he actually averaged more than that even back in 2018. That was his big breakout year. But the point I'm making is that he is now on the wrong side of 30, and we need to find some way to make him more effective on the snaps that he plays. So last year, he averaged about 42 snaps a game. I'm trying to get that down to 30. 
I'm trying to get that down to 30. If he could go from playing 700 plus snaps a game the last two years to playing 500 this year, to me, that would allow him to put more into each snap. That would allow him to be a better, more effective player. And that's how we make sure we get our money's worth and then some. Because it's not hard to be worth $3 million in the modern NFL. That's 1.4% of the cap. You just kind of need to have a pulse to be worth $3 million most of the time. But if we want to really get our money's worth and then some, if we want to give him a chance to actually become a plus player for us, then I'm thinking about these snap counts. 42 snaps a game for a guy who's on the wrong side of 30, you want to come down from that. So I'm hoping that we use the resources we have left in this offseason to build out our defensive line in a way that Jaron Reed can play 30 snaps a game. Um, That's probably going to require massive draft capital usage. You're probably going to have to draft two blue chip defensive linemen, but so be it. Okay, so anyway, Jaron Reed contract is out. We now know exactly what's going on here. It's fine. I don't really have a problem with it. Uh, I would have liked to have gotten this first year cap it down to maybe two and a half, but there is easily ways to make up for it. You just have to actually do those things. So we're still waiting on the official Drew Lock cap hit, even though I think it's going to be $4 million for sure. I don't see how it's any other number at this point, unless we've been lied to. We still need the Devin Bush cap hit. I've heard from one source who's, I think, like a Dolphins beat writer, not even like a Schefter or a Rappaport or a, um, one of those guys, that it's $4 million, but I- I'm waiting for an official source. And I'm waiting for either OTC or Spotrack to actually update it. And then you have the Julian Love cap hit, which I'm just estimating based off the two-year $12 million number we have. So we still need more information, but this is going to help narrow things down a little bit. Over the cap now has, if you uh, go to the uh, Seahawks over the cap page, 15.16 cap space. So just over $15 million in cap space, not counting Drew Locke, Devin Bush, and Julian Love. Drew Locke isn't even listed here. I don't know why. They, they need to get on top of that. But anyway, so I've got another video coming out in probably like less than half an hour here where I'm going to talk about uh, the plans for the next several weeks on the channel. So definitely check that out so you can know what to expect. It's going to be a very busy several weeks as we move closer and closer to the draft and anticipate the possibility of the Seahawks making some additional moves in free agency before the draft freeing up some money. So it's going to be a very busy time on this channel, but I did want to quickly announce that the Jaron Reed contract is now official. Um, I'm, I should be streaming. I think I'm going to be streaming on Twitch tonight, Wolong, by the way. So if you want to see me at playing Wolong, uh, head on over there. That's a game that can definitely frustrate me, so I might get angry and rage and da-da-da-da-da. That's definitely uh, going to be entertaining for some people. That's a game that very much could make me upset. <laughs> because uh, of the flaws in the game. But I uh, hope to see you there. Go Hawks. And yep, yeah, Jaron Reed, two years, $9 million, really one year, $4.5 million with a $1.5 million void year hit in 2024. See you guys later.